My name is Vidi Singh. I'm Director of Activities at WASA, and I just want to thank all of you for coming out this evening for a lot of fun. So before we get started with our phenomenal speakers, the founders of WASA would like to tell you more about this great organization. So please welcome, in a while, okay. Um, I hope you're all excited. We have a good lineup of speakers tonight, and yeah, okay. Oh, here they are. So, Gokul Kumarasan and Akshay Khosa, the founders. So, please give it up for them. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my extreme pleasure to welcome you all to WASA's first innovation conference. I'm really glad you guys all took the time out of your Saturdays to show up. It's going to be a great afternoon filled with phenomenal guest speakers and interactive activities, all centered around one focus, innovation. Before we get into the agenda for the conference, let's share a few thoughts about innovation and WASA and how they connect. Innovation is the development of revolutionary ideas, methods, and devices that let us better the world. It's simply the process of taking something that exists and transforming it into something that delivers a new or more effective way to accomplish something. It's the what allows us to advance the human life and what lets us push the boundaries of the world. And the good news is that our country has been on the forefront of innovation since the early days. Innovation and entrepreneurship are strong pillars in American society. As we look forward though, we have to promote science, technology, engineering, and mathematics even more. Promote them among our youth in order for the United States to continue to drive innovation and maintain its role as a global leader. That's exactly what we, WASA, are here to do. This idea didn't exactly come out of thin air. Most great ventures have a great backstory, and so do we. The inception of WASA involved all of us putting our heads together and drawing from our past experiences. It was a journey that stretched thousands of miles. I've been passionate about STEM from, from my early childhood, and in this pursuit, I started several STEM-related clubs throughout several years. Uh, however, the inspiration about taking my STEM involvement in the community to the next level came from my one-year stay in Nairobi, Kenya in 2011. I was uh, very proud of my experience there. Uh, I learned a lot. Uh, I got a chance to teach uh, little kids in underprivileged villages and saw that despite their conditions, they were still very motivated to learn and succeed. So when I returned to Seattle, I felt I had to do more for the community and thus, in order to impact the community more, the idea of WASA came about. And the minute we started talking about WASA, I knew that this was something I wanted to put my heart into. Akshay and I had been inclined towards the STEM fields from an early childhood, and we knew that the WASA would be a perfect combination for uh, to us to combine our past experiences as students and our desires to create a positive impact within our community. WASA was founded in order to connect students of all ages in the noble and ecstatic pursuit of scientific enrichment and learning. At WASA, we inspire STEM students in Washington State and empower them with communication, resources, and access to the STEM industry. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what today's innovation conference is all about. So uh, we're going to have our Vice President, Oscar Moar, and founder. He's going to walk you through the uh, agenda for today. Please welcome Oscar Moar to the stage. All right. So today we'll be starting with uh, WASA introductions. Um, after that, we're going to get started with the uh, talks. And um, Dr. Trunk from UW present his revolutionary DNA device. After that, we're having Ariel Vardy present his unique um, uh, innovation. Uh, then we're going to have a short break, and uh, Innovation at First Robotics, Kevin Ross is going to present. Then we have an interactive activity, and we have prizes to give out for that. Uh, we have a technological and software innovation uh, presented by Mike Swanson. Uh, then we have another interactive activity we'll uh, pick off from where we left off. And then we'll have a biological innovation presentation by James and Shivani from InBios. Uh, then a small break and Dr. Gunlatch from UW will be presenting about nanopore sequencing. Then uh, we'll close up and uh, we'll tell you to check out the stands outside. So that's our day. Okay. 
Uh, during our breaks, we just wanted to inform you that we will be having uh, a silent auction. Um, due to the courtesy of our sponsors, we have several items available here, uh, ranging from Beats headsets to uh, mini fridges and gift cards. So please do take a look at that. It's a great way to support uh, a community nonprofit and also get something out of it. All right, so uh, we'll start our WASA introductions by in, uh, presenting our, uh, uh, presenting our uh, initiatives. Um, so uh, I'm starting with communications because that was a huge part of why I joined WASA and why I, why I wanted to start it with these guys. When Akshay Gokung and I were finding a direction, uh, we wanted our efforts to be in the right uh, place. We wanted our organization to go the right direction. And the reason I wanted to join this was completely because of connection and communication. Um, I was involved in clubs and it was a huge, I, I thought I benefited the community, but WASA took it to the next step. And I really wanted to be a part of it. Um, it took it to this next step because we spread it statewide. We connected STEM students from the whole state. And this is a huge incentive for me to join this. Um, WASA tries to connect this youth STEM community in Washington. Um, so what, we what we're trying to do is take the STEM community that there is, we have dispersely located clubs and we saw that there was no organization, a coherent organization connecting all these clubs and WASA is, is that coherent organization. We strive to connect clubs, STEM students, uh, future people that are going to the STEM industry, we want to prep them, we want to have, have them have a connection between them and WASA is facilitating that. Um, hopefully we want our, uh, the youth STEM community to finally go into the industry. And our communication is only between student to student, but it's also between the industry and the student. And hope we're starting that connection now so that in the future they'll have an exposure to what they want to be in. Uh, science is not just a collection of math equations and laws and theories. Uh, it really is a, co a community. Without a community, there's nothing science to build off of itself. Science grows and we need people and a community and a connection for that. WASA is aiding this progression in the Washington state and we value the merit of communication and this is why science grows, not just dispersely located theories and laws. Uh, thank you. All right, next up, uh, Mira. You presenting resources. Oh, um, WASA has several different uh, branches, and resources is one of them. And WASA resources, we offer a wide variety of resources for students. Uh, these include links to science subjects on physics, chemistry, biology. All of these are freely available on our website. And um, we also have opportunities for students to publish their research. We have documents on our website with uh, noteworthy research papers, club activities. We have guides on how to go about starting a science club. So these are some excellent resources for students across Washington who are interested in the sciences. And we also have videos uh, that are on various scientific topics that are produced by WASA and filmed by WASA. So um, these scientific materials are available for clubs that need them and feel free to contact WASA and um, donate to us and essentially you can get access to all of these resources which will uh, definitely benefit your club. And um, now talking a bit about WASA research, uh, this is another one of our exciting new ventures that is still in the works. We are planning on releasing it sometime next January. Um, our aim is essentially to connect students with the resources they need to connect to conduct scientific research, and we aim to develop students' abilities in conducting scientific research by opportunities that we at WASA offer and that also WASA partners offer. And WASA partners are essentially organizations that provide internships through WASA. So these are opportunities that we will be posting on our website soon, so we encourage you to keep an eye out and uh, look out for any updates because these will be starting sometime next January. So our inspiration for this was uh, 
through a lot of personal experiences, it's quite difficult for students to conduct professional scientific research locally. And we wanted to provide students with the appropriate resources that they need to do so. And essentially, encourage them to have that rewarding opportunity that science and research truly is. So how you can get involved. If you're a professional, we highly encourage you to partner with WAZA. And if you have internships or if you would like students to get a feel for what your profession entails, we encourage you to offer internships that we at WAZA will then provide to potential students. And for all of the students out there, if you've already conducted some research or experiments on your own, and if you've written papers on them, lab reports on them, we encourage you to submit them to the WAZA website for publication. And we can help you get connected to external opportunities. And we also encourage you to apply for those WAZA research opportunities when they do open up. And now, introducing Waza Studios. Do you have to get the mic? Okay. Hi. Uh, I'm Neil Morthy. I'm the executive director at Waza Studios. And this is Lacey Young. All right. she, she's our photographer. She works, we work together. Um, and so, Waza Studios is really just about showcasing all of the um, stuff that we do with all of our member clubs. So we take photos and videos at each of the clubs that are part of our organization. And we do everything in-house from editing the video to uh, producing all the pictures. And I think that was, yeah, it, it's just, we do this to showcase what WASA does in our organization and really promote staff. So we're really in charge of the documentation of everything. We can show you words, but showing pictures and videos of what we actually do is really what promotes STEM. And uh, we're also in charge of conducting and well, recording the exclusive interviews that we get with professionals in the field, as well as students and scientists. Um, everything you see is, that, that's our job. Is, everything you see links together and promotes what WASA is going for. And what we do. All right, next coming up, we have uh, events being presented by Arjun Kumar, our Director of Community Services, and Vindy Singh, our Director of Activities. Hey, everyone. So uh, one of the best ways that um, WASA can promote its mission of inspiring and educating STEM fields is through uh, organizing events such as these. So we have three kinds of events, one of which is conferences like the one you're attending today. Conferences are based around speakers who come and share their experiences and success with you to inspire you to accomplish something very similar to them. Each conference will have a theme associated with it. For example, today's is innovation. Another type of event that we have is um, competitions. Competitions are a great way for students to test their knowledge in a fun but challenging way. Some types of competitions that we hold include uh, middle school science fairs and science bowls. Our third kind of event is networking events. Now these are for the club members and all the clubs that are associated with WASA. So they just come in for a day where they all can share their experiences, their success, their goals, anything they've learned throughout the year. And our hope and mission with this is to not only expand the Washington submission amongst all of these people, but to inspire them to take initiative and accomplish all their goals they've set out in terms of STEM. For example, uh, one type of event that we'll be holding at the end of the year is a leader special leadership summit for um, all the WASA club presidents to come and uh, share their own ideas of how clubs can be better run. Um, hopefully through this leadership summit, um, each club can come out in a much better improved state. We thank all of you for coming today and we hope you have a great time and attend all of our future events to come. Thank you. Thank you. Next we'll have uh, Mr. Parker, one of our well-wishers, one of our uh, corporate and services advisors, tell you about how you can get involved with WASA. Please welcome Mr. Parker. Hi everybody, my name is Cameron Parker. I'm a uh, teacher at Skyline High School. I spent 20 years at Microsoft before that, before that, before uh, last year, I guess. So this is, uh, 
uh, my second year teaching, but uh, Gokul and Akshay asked me to get involved with them in this in terms of an, of an advisory role. So I just wanted to tell you, first off, how impressed I am with what they've put together today and how dedicated they are to making this uh, science association be a successful, successful uh, uh, venture. Um, do you have slides for me or no? No? Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. So, dedicating cultivating skills for life. Thank you. Got, got a clicker now. Now I'm comfortable. 20 years at Microsoft, I got to have my clicker. <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, dedicating cultivating skills for life. You're really seeing this today, right now. When you see these students come up here and start talking, doing public speaking, that's a core skill that all these kids need to know uh, moving forward in any job that they do, whether that happens to be stem cell related or not. Um, so learning things like uh, uh, presentation skills and communication skills, those are important. Learning things like uh, leadership skills. Each one of these guys has jumped into a leadership role, and girls, sorry, and girls, has jumped into a leadership role within this club. And they're actually looking for lots of other opportunities for you to join into their organization and take on and spread the word further. So if you're interested in joining in uh, as, a, as a leader in this organization, please approach one of them after uh, any time today, really, I think would be a good time. Um, as far as students go, you know, a lot of the uh, uh, development of creative, creative thinking and leadership and some of, the, some of those things come through the clubs that they're involved in in their uh, high schools. So in, if you're involved in a club right now and that club is not part of WASA, definitely talk to them about getting involved and becoming sort of a member club that's part of the WASA organization. That gives you as a club direct inroads into participating in events like this, showing off your own materials uh, in the hallway, for instance, as well, bringing in your own guest speakers, uh, and really kind of helping feed the funnel of information that comes into the organization. For students, uh, I think they already covered some of these things, but uh, um, really it's about getting involved in STEM in any way that you can. Uh, I also am the advisor for the robotics club at Skyline, and uh, Kevin here is uh, uh, heavily involved in robotics, first robotics in Washington. What's your title officially? Founding chairman. Founding chairman of First Robotics Washington, yes, yes. Um, big stuff. If you're not involved with robotics as one example, uh, get involved with it at the middle school level, at the elementary school level, um, at the high school level. There's multiple ways to get involved with FIRST Robotics, but that's just one way. Get involved in any of your STEM clubs at school. If that's biology club and that's what your passion is, then go do that. Uh, if it's rocketry club or physics club or whatever, whatever club you're uh, your uh, passion might be in, go do that thing. Start to interact with people there and to start to take on more of a leadership role within those organizations. These are great skills that you as a student can practice in a club environment that's very safe and allows you to grow. So uh, then you can move up to more and more deeper levels of doing those things. Uh, so get involved with your clubs, uh, get involved with those leadership opportunities. Specifically, WASA also has openings and we'll be looking to fill leadership opportunities uh, for WASA in the middle school level. So they want to take WASA and reach out into the middle schools a bit more too. So do that. If you're here a middle school student, uh, ask these guys how to get involved and how to put your name into the bucket or into the hat for that kind of an opportunity and start, start working at that. Anything you do related to WASA is also a volunteer opportunity too. You can log those hours. Uh, a lot, I think, uh, um, Honor Society requires volunteer hours. So any club uh, effort that you do, uh, WASA effort, if you get involved in effort, or if you get involved in WASA and spend some time with WASA, uh, those, those hours are really volunteer hours that you can log against uh, uh, your volunteer hours that you re might be required for school. For adults, how can you get involved with WASA? Uh, we need advisors. Uh, Having more than one advisor and having them, or actually there's way more than one advisor, I'm not the only one. Uh, having many advisors uh, helps spread the sort of breadth of knowledge, also helps reach those fingers further into the community, whether that's academia with research or whether that's businesses. Your experience as a business leader or a business person out there in the real world today, uh, if you want to get involved, please lend your time to the, to the organization as well. 
Um, so yeah, become a professional advisor. I think that's uh, primarily what I had to say for today, but thank you for coming and enjoy the rest of the day.